sorry we don't have a bigger crowd to make more noise. Well, that's all right. Uh, well, Officer Marshall, supervisors in your chain of command recommended that you be commended for your actions during the month of September 2011. And although we are nominating him and he was awarded in 2011, Ronnie's one of those constant great police officers who does his job no matter what. And we're very pleased with his performance. He's been up a number of times for this award. It's just that during those time periods, there have been some other selections that have been made, but he's just a constant in this police department doing the right thing. On September 5th, 2011, at 8.30 a.m., you were dispatched to a commercial burglary. You arrived on the scene and gathered all the necessary information. While en route back to the police department, you observed a truck with an attached trailer that appeared to be broken down on the side of the road stopped to run the vehicle tag. The vehicle was reported stolen by Foley Police Department. You immediately contacted the Foley Police Department and remained on the scene to assist them. While assisting with that incident, someone came into the lobby of the police department to report a stolen vehicle. The vehicle description was given out by dispatch immediately. You observed the vehicle described going southbound on Greeno Road. You were able to perform a traffic stop on the vehicle and took the suspect into custody. Now this is while he's handling the other one. Yeah. You then took the inventory of the vehicle and found items that were reported stolen from the commercial burglary that took place earlier in the morning. Oh. <laughs> it's all about being in the right place at the right time. You call that a triple header. And, and here's the other part of that equation, taking action. A lot of officers may have just ignored that, stayed focused on just what they were doing, and these things would have bypassed contacted the owner of the business who was able to identify the stolen items. There were also items in the vehicle from another burglary that occurred in the county's jurisdiction. You contacted the Baldwin County Sheriff's Department and assisted them in closing out the burglary. You were able to recover two stolen vehicles and closed out two burglaries in our jurisdiction as well as two in the Foley jurisdiction. Wow. You are truly a credit to our department and the entire law enforcement community. These actions are in keeping with the finest traditions of professional policing, and I commend you for your compassion, selflessness, and willingness to serve and protect others. Sincerely, Bill Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Can someone take a picture? Yeah, he's videoing us, and, and that's going to be on. Well, the only thing I would like to say is being at the right place at the right time, instrumental. Listen up, please. That helped with the Listen community. Up. Instrumental. They had uh, talked about this vehicle. Sir? So that's what led me to investigate the vehicle, was the citizens talking about that particular vehicle and how strange the occupant acted in that vehicle. So when I saw the vehicle, it immediately got my attention, which started this ball rolling. But other than that, I thank y'all very much. Well, congratulations. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job.